Hello, I'm Colleen from the Haverhill Public Library, and it's time for Pajama Storytime. And I am in my PJs, and I have my little friend Sammy with me. And I want to start off with a literacy tip, which is that reading books at bedtime is an important bedtime ritual because it's a calm period at the end of the day, and it's a nice bonding time for you and your child. Now we're going to start off with a greeting song and it is called well hello everybody and it goes like this well hello everybody can you clap your hands clap your hands clap your hands well hello everybody can you clap your hands clap your hands well hello everybody can you get real small get real small get real small well hello everybody can you get real small get real small. Well, hello everybody, can you read a book? Read a book, read a book. Well, hello everybody, can you read a book? Read a book. Great job. We have a couple of signs from American Sign Language. The first one is day, and you make one of your arms like this, and then you point up at the sun, and you move your arm down, and that's how you say day. And then if you wanna say night, you have just one hand, and then this hand acts just like the cow jumping over the moon, and that's how you say night. And our theme for stories and songs today are all about winter sleep. So there are lots of chilly stories. So the sign for cold, you take your two fists and you shake as if you were shivering because you were so cold. A Big Bed for Little Snow, and this is by Grace Lynn, who's an author from Massachusetts. When winter began, Little Snow's mommy made a big new bed just for him. Now you have warm feathers to sleep on, mommy said. Then she looked at her little boy. Remember, Little Snow, this bed is for sleeping, not jumping. Little Snow grinned and nodded. That night, tucked into his bed, Little Snow closed his eyes as Mommy kissed him goodnight. Thump, thump, thump. Little Snow listened to Mommy's footsteps fade away. Finally, it was quiet. Little Snow opened his eyes. He rolled off his bed and looked at it. His new bed was so puffy and big and bouncy. Little Snow grinned and then jumped, jumped, jumped. Tiny feathers squeezed out of his bed and fluttered down. Thump, thump, thump. Uh-oh, was Mommy coming? <gasps> Little Snow flopped down on his bed. Little Snow, Mommy said, what are you doing? Nothing, Little Snow said, and he put his head back down on his big bed. In the morning, when Little Snow woke up, he listened for his Mommy's footsteps. It was quiet. Little Snow grinned and... jumped and jumped. More tiny feathers fluttered down. Th 
thump, thump, thump. Uh-oh, was Mommy coming? Little Snow flopped down on his bed. All winter, whenever Little Snow was near his big bed, he listened for Mommy's footsteps. If it was quiet, Little Snow grinned and then jumped. Sometimes Little Snow jumped small, soft jumps. Sometimes he jumped big, high jumps. Once, Little Snow jumped so high and landed so hard, he made a rip in his bed. Whoosh! Came out the feathers. What a lot of feathers fell that day. And you can see what those feathers are on everyone down here in the buildings. Look at all that snow falling. When winter was over, Mommy came to clean out the feathers from Little Snow's bed, but there were no feathers. Little Snow's bed was empty. Little Snow, Mommy said, did you jump all the feathers out of your bed again? Yes, Little Snow said, but he grinned. Aren't you glad? Now all we have to do is fill it again next winter. The end. And that was a big bed for Little Snow. And that was a pretty magical story. Now I have a puppet song to share with you. And this is all about animals that I cannot quite see in the snow. And there's going to be some clues based on what the animals sound like. So you see if you can guess what animal I'll find next. And this is how it goes. There's something in the snow. Now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound. Ho, ho, ho. What do we find? A wolf is what we found. Ho, ho, ho. Can you make a sound like a wolf too? Great job. Let's see what we find next. There's something in the snow. Now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound. Grr, grr, grr. A bear is what I found. Grr, grr, grr. There's something in the snow. Now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound. Caw, caw, caw. Hear its funny sound. Caw, caw, caw. Look, a cardinal is what I found. There's something in the snow, now what can it be? There's something in the snow that I can't really see. Hear its funny sound. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look. A snowy owl is what I found. Now I have another rhyme that uses a puppet. And for this rhyme, I'm going to say a line and you're going to say the same line too. That's what we call call and response. And it's to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? But this one is called Sleepy Bear. And it goes like this. Where is Bear? Where is Bear? 
Here I am, here I am. How are you this winter? Very sleepy, thank you. Go to sleep, go to sleep. And now that the bear's asleep, you're gonna wake the bear back up. Are you ready? One, two, three, and you're gonna call out, wake up bear. One, two, three, wake up bear. Oh no, we woke up the bear. Let's put the bear back to sleep. Where is bear? Where is bear? Here I am, here I am. How are you this winter? Very tired, thank you. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Shh. Time to Sleep by Denise Fleming. Bear sniffed once, she sniffed twice. I smell winter in the air, said Bear. It is time to crawl into my cave and sleep. But first, I must tell Snail. Snail was slowly slithering up one leaf and down another. Snail rumbled Bear. Winter is in the air. It is time to seal your shell and sleep. And way down here we can see little snail. Snail stopped slithering. You are right, bear, said snail. This morning there was frost on the grass. It is time to sleep. But first, I must tell skunk. Scritch, scratch, scratch. Skunk, winter is on its way, said Snail. It is time for you to curl up in your den and sleep. Skunk looked up. The leaves on the trees were yellow and red. All right, said Skunk. I will sleep. But first, I must tell Turtle. Turtle was off on a ramble. Stop, Turtle, cried Skunk. I have news. Winter is on its way. Turtle blinked. Winter? Yes, winter, said Skunk. It is time for you to dig down deep and sleep. The days have been growing shorter, muttered Turtle. It is time to sleep. But first, I must tell Woodchuck. Turtle trudged up Woodchuck's hill. Woodchuck, called Turtle, winter is on its way. It is time for you to burrow down and sleep. Thank goodness, said Woodchuck with a sigh. My skin is so tight, I could not eat another bite. I am ready to sleep. But first, I must tell Ladybug. Ladybug was perched high on a branch in a maple tree. Ladybug called Woodchuck, winter is on its way. And way up here we see Ladybug. Ladybug flew over Woodchuck's head. The leaves are falling from the trees, said Woodchuck. It is time for you to slip under a log and sleep. All right, said Ladybug. But first, I must tell Bear. Bear was softly snoring in her cave. Bear, cried Ladybug, wake up, wake up. Bear grumbled and rolled over. The sky is full of geese honking goodbye, cried Ladybug. Winter is on its way, Bear. And here we see Ladybug, and way there curled up in her cave is Bear.
bear opened one eye, then she opened the other eye. What, growled Bear? It is time to crawl into your cave and sleep, said Ladybug. Ladybug, grumbled Bear, I am in my cave. I was asleep. Oh dear, said Ladybug, I am so sorry, Bear. Please go back to sleep. And there on the end of Bear's nose is Ladybug. Bear rolled over and closed her eyes. Ladybug slipped under a log nearby. Right here is Ladybug. And there's Bear in her cave. Good night, Bug, said Bear. Good night, Bear, said Ladybug. Good night, Woodchuck. Good night, Turtle. Good night, Skunk. Good night, snail. Good night, everyone. See you in the spring. Time to sleep. Now we have a tickle rhyme. And for this tickle rhyme, I'm going to have my bear puppet friend. So you can tickle along your little one's face for this rhyme. And it goes like this. The moon is round as round can be. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth like me. And you give your little one a kiss. Now I have a poem to share. And it is from a book called Snowbirds. Snowbirds, words by Kirsten Hall. Pictures by Jenny Desmond. Ruffed Grouse is the name of this poem. Beneath the snow lies a winter house, a tunneled hole for a sleeping grouse. It dreams of trembling aspen flowers, breakfast in just a few short hours. For now, sleep tight, little grouse, keep warm. You're safe in your white-walled winter dorm. Quirt, 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 quirt. And that's the sound of the ruffed grouse. From Snowbirds. Now I have some baby bounces to share. This is when you have your little one on your lap and you bounce them along to a rhyme. You might decide you want to have them face you or instead have them as a gentle rock in your arms, whatever works best for you. Once in a while, I'll say that there's a lift in the song. You can always just make that a little bit of a tilt instead. This doesn't need to be a parent workout time. Our first rhyme is called Jelly in the Bowl and it goes like this. Jelly in the bowl, jelly in the bowl, Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly in the bowl. Cookies in the jar, cookies in the jar. Shake them up, shake them up, cookies in the jar. Candles on the cake, candles on the cake. Blow them out, blow them out. And that was jelly in the bowl. And now we have little blue sled, and it goes like this. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Bumping up and down in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? Snow's coming down in my little blue sled. Snow's coming down in my little blue sled. Snow's coming down in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Waving to my friends in my little blue sled. Won't you be my darling? And our final baby bounce for today's story time is called Gingerbread Man. And this is a great one to have your little one like this. And this has a little bit of movement of your child's hands and their feet. So you can decide you're going to move your child's hand along to the beat or you can just kind of tap along their tummy. 
it goes like this. Mix and stir and pat in the pan. I'm going to make a gingerbread man with a nose so neat and a smile so sweet and gingerbread shoes on your gingerbread feet. Let's try that one once more. Mix and stir and pat in the pan. I'm going to make a gingerbread man with a nose so neat and a smile so sweet and gingerbread shoes on your gingerbread feet. Now we have another story. And this book is called The Chili Penguin. And it's by Constanz von Kitzing. Brr, I am so chilly. What if I knit myself a warm scarf? Still chilly. What if I build myself a warm fire? Whoosh! Sploosh! Still chilly. What if I go ice skating to warm myself up? Thunk. Still chilly. I think I see someone. What if my friend and I share a hug? Mmm, warm and snuggly. The end of the chili penguin. Now I have a little penguin puppet here. Let's see. There they are. Hello. I wonder if they're a little chilly. I'll warm them up with a little hug. All right. Now our little penguin friend has a song for us, and it's called I'm a Little Penguin. And it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. And it goes like this. I'm a little penguin, two feet high. I'm a bird, but I can't fly. Look at how I swim out in the sea. I'm as fast as fast can be. I'm going to move our penguin to the side so I can show you what the motions look like. I'm a little penguin, two feet high. I'm a bird, but I can't fly. Look at how I swim out in the sea. I'm as fast as fast can be. Great job. Now we have a finger play that's called, shh, be very quiet. And this is a great one for calming down before bed. Let's just move over here. All right. Shh, be very quiet. Shh. Be very still. Fold your busy little hands. Close your sleepy little eyes. Shh, be very quiet. Shh, be very still. Shh. Now we have a song that's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but instead it's called Snowflake Snowflake. And it goes like this. 
Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground, down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky, love to watch you floating by. And now we have one more story, and this story is called Peter Loves Penguin. This book is by David McPhail. Peter loves Penguin. Penguin loves Peter. Penguin wakes up. Peter looks out the window. Penguin needs his scarf. Peter needs his coat. Peter puts on his boots. Penguin does not need boots. Penguin makes a snowball. Peter makes one too. Peter has an idea. Penguin helps. Can you guess what their idea might be? Let's see. Penguin can't reach. Peter helps. Penguin adds his scarf. Peter finds a carrot. They made a snowman, is that what you guessed? Penguin gets chilly. Peter gets hungry. Penguin shares his cocoa. Peter shares his toast and jam. Peter loves Penguin. Penguin loves Peter. The end. And that was Peter loves Penguin. Now, as we have some bubbles blowing in the background, I'm going to sing a going to sleep song, rock a -bye baby, while I rock the penguin, and then we'll sing goodbye. Rock-a-bye baby on the treetops When the wind blows the cradle will rock When the bow breaks the cradle will fall And down will come baby cradle and doll Thank you for joining me for Pajama Story Time. Now we have our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done today, so come again another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. <laughs>